Hi guys, it's me, Army of War. I'm doing a review on the Rogue Zenith Extreme motherboard for the um, Threadripper 1950X. So, I keep getting a lot of questions. How did you get Data Source to run on this motherboard? I see on, uh, was it on, was it? I forgot what they call it, Discords or whatever. They keep saying, oh, I have problems making it work. Oh, I can't get a hard drive mounted. Blah, blah, blah. And they're coming to my videos. I'm not complaining. They're coming to my videos complaining that I'm doing, no, I'm lying. And um, leaving me a bunch of messages. All right, guys, it's time to figure out, am I lying? Do I have data stores? Do I have GPU pass-through? All right. God. So storage-wise, as you see, I have data stores. I have NVMe data stores. I have an SSD data store. I have a hard drive data store that I'm about to add. All right, let's add another hard drive. Where is my hard drive at? Oh, here it is. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna double click that. That hard drive is gonna get wiped default clean because I don't care what the fuck is on there. Add a new data store. What, which one was this? Hold on, let me look at the case right quick. It's a terabyte hard drive. Oh, HDD. Oh shit. Oh. I'm gonna use the full disc. Yaws. Yaws. And now, before your eyes, I have all these data stores. And I, I do have uh, six, no, three more uh, hard drives that are gonna go to this thread ripper. And to make sure this is actually a threat ripper, let's go back to there we go, threat ripper. All right, so first we're gonna go into the BIOS. Right now, I'm still setting up my server. Right now, I'm still setting them up. I don't have many VMs running right now, but sooner or later, I'm gonna have a lot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shut down the threat ripper. I'm gonna show you the BIOS. Make sure you update your BIOS. Make sure the BIOS is on the latest update. All right, so let me tell this computer to sh Hold on, I gotta shut off my VM right quick. While I'm doing that, you can just look at this beautiful Pikachu and desktop. Let's just suspend. All right. All right, suspend it, shut down, shut down. Okay, so it's shutting down. Right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my monitor and throw this Dell Latitude rugged to the side right quick. Excuse the wiring, I'm still doing cable management for um, the network. Alright, so what we're going to use is my HP monitor and my sweet Razer keyboard. I love this green switches. It makes, makes me come all the time. Hold on, where's my... There we go. Nice little clicky clicky. Did it shut off yet? Nope, it didn't shut off yet. All right, it's probably trying to offload two VMs. Let's see how long that takes. If it takes longer, I'm just gonna just skip through the video. Or if I don't care, I'm just gonna just put it up like this. You can skip. All right, it shut off. All right, so I already plugged in the HDMI. I already plugged in my keyboard. We're going to start it up. Uh, does my keyboard detect anything? I need a signal. Signal. Uh, 
There's my keyboard. Don't you deny me. I need your love. Let's see, what do I have enabled? Excuse me if this video sucks, but that's the only proof that I have. So you're gonna have to go through this as basically as I um, can because I'm not good at um, instructions. So let's get this started. We're gonna roll through every setting. So if anything is different from yours, change it. That's the best <laughs> advice I got. Oh, and one things you do want on are these two, just in case these might be the big, um, yeah, you might want to, uh, enable to make it work, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm having a little bit too much fun, that works, that, uh, y'all need that anyway. That's basically everything that I configured. And then the only thing I did was turn on fast boot. And then after power loss, normal boot. So just in case if um, I want to do something later. Option one, I made sure it's always the bootable. Um, this can be disabled. I don't want that. It's only one boot option that I want in here. Now just save changes and reset. Make sure you're on the latest BIOS. That's all I can say. And now it's gonna boot into EXI. It's starting up right now. Sexy as Rim Ram machine. Mm. Ooh, it's still starting up. What version of EXI I'm working? The only version that will work with Threadripper is 6.5. Uh, 6.5 U1 update. As you can see, I'm not lying. It is the Ryzen Threadripper with the Rogue. I mean, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but Rogue, RG, however, how the crap you say it, Zenith Extreme. Yes, I know I only have 16 gigs of RAM, but I have another 16 gigs coming my way. People were telling me to buy G Skill for the Threat Ripper, but I don't feel like it. I don't want it for the Threat Ripper. I want it for the i7. Those are G Skills right there. But I like Cosar the most, so I'm going to give Cosar to, to um, the Threat Ripper. All right, everything should be started. I'm just going to bleep out what you just saw. I don't want um, no one seeing my outbound IP address. Alright, let's see. Let's put this monitor on the floor. I don't need it no more. I got two enormous batteries that needs to get their um, cells replaced. So I can have my big ups again. This bitch lasts for days. I mean hours. I said days. I hope I lost the hard drive. Right. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna connect back with the laptop. Right, so. 
logged in, logging in. All right, Threat Ripper, it's been logged in. As you can see, hold up, hold up. The fuck? I don't want you to go away. All right, data stores. Let's get it. Let's get a close up on that. I have my NVMe drives working. I have a SATA drive, hard drive. I have a SATA drive, SSD works. As you can tell, non-SSD works. Capacity, yes, it works. Can I store things in my data store? Let's watch. Let's go to view data store browser. Um, I got Windows installation. I have uh, my main VM. So yeah, if that video didn't help you out, I, I don't know how to explain it even further. Uh, maybe you could help me out and give me some steps or in the comment section below. But yeah, that's data stores working through, um, was it the RG Zenith Extreme? All right, guys. See you later.